Cloud Engineer versus AI Engineer. What should you choose? Technology is evolving faster than ever. Some roles are in massive demand. Others, they have collapsed almost overnight, especially with the non-stop rounds of layoffs. Microsoft just fired 9,000 employees, mostly affecting traditional IT. And we are seeing the same pattern grow everywhere in the industry. Interestingly, none of the cuts affected cloud engineers or AI engineers, and the demand for those roles is still rising. So what's the difference? What separates those who are still in high demand from IT pros who risk becoming outdated, like legacy code in old seasons? Hi, I'm Lois Roth, a senior cloud engineer with over a decade of experience in the tech industry and tech career banter. And if you're trying to figure out where to take your career next, Today, I will break down both paths from the inside. And by the end of this video, I will show you exactly which one to choose based on your current goals and the market reality. Let's start with the cloud engineer. Cloud is the backbone of every modern online application. Every app you use, YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, runs on real infrastructure somewhere in the world. So what's driving the demand for cloud engineers? First, every company needs to move to the cloud to stay competitive. Before cloud, business used to buy physical servers and run everything on their own data centers. As the internet evolved, those servers just couldn't keep up with the demand. Updating those as well would require a lot of effort. That means high costs, limited scalability, constant maintenance, and more secure risks. Then cloud came and changed everything. Instead of owning infrastructure, companies could now rent exactly what they needed from providers like Azure, AWS and GCP. If traffic spiked, they could scale instantly. If demand dropped, they stopped paying. Cloud engineers are the ones who design and manage this. They make sure the systems stay secure, resilient, cost-effective and fast. And over the past decade, the cloud has exploded. Back in 2015, the global cloud market was worth around $200 billion. By 2025, it's projected to surpass 900 billion. That goes beyond the entire video game and mobile phone industries combined. That happens because every business, no matter the industry, is moving to the cloud. Suddenly, every team needs cloud talent. But it's not just about moving workloads. A single enterprise solution might rely on dozens of interconnected services for identity, storage, networking, analytics, and secure integration with on-premises infrastructure. Someone has to architect all that and make sure it works with high availability. Even this video you are watching relies on a cloud-based architecture to stream smoothly across devices worldwide. And before we move on to the AI engineer role, there is one important thing to understand. AI doesn't exist without the cloud. Models like ChatGTP run primarily on Microsoft Azure supercomputing infrastructure, handling millions of interactions every single day. Without scalable cloud resources, they would crash under the load. Some cloud infrastructure roles at OpenAI pay between 500,000 to over $1 million per year. And because of its non-stop growth, these systems still face compute limits and occasional downtime during peak usage. That's why Big Tech is investing over $320 billion in cloud infrastructure this year alone. Because no matter how advanced the AI gets, it can't run without the cloud beneath it. So if you're wondering, what skills matter most? Start with deep expertise in a cloud platform. And while most people go towards AWS, there is a hidden opportunity in Azure. There simply aren't enough skilled Azure professionals to meet the demand. The enterprise world, especially large corporations and government sectors, is adopting Azure at a fast pace. To master Azure, focus on four core areas, compute, storage, networking, and security. Once you master these foundations of these areas, you will notice that these resources, they will have different components. And to glue all together, you learn and use infrastructure as a code, Azure BISP 
or Terraform. To orchestrate the deployments, you can master Azure DevOps for CI/CD or GitHub Actions to streamline your workflows, bring consistency to your projects. And here is the part many people overlook, your soft skills. As a cloud engineer, you will be working across cross-functional teams collaborate with leadership and solving problems together. Your ability to communicate, influence, and build trust will be just as important as your technical expertise. The best engineers aren't just builders, they are leaders. You will be the bridge between what the business wants and puts it live. That's the key difference is while many traditional IT roles are being automated by AI, cloud engineers remain irreplaceable. Their ability to architect, integrate and align complex systems with business needs will be in demand for decades to come. And they are paid accordingly. Here in Australia, cloud engineering roles often start around $140,000 per year, $240,000 or more for senior cloud architects. Now, let's break down what an AI engineer actually does. When people hear AI engineer, they often imagine someone training massive models from scratch. That's not the reality for most roles today. They build applications on top of pre-trained models like GPT, Llama, or Azure hosted models. Their job is to solve real problems using AI as a building block, taking a powerful model and connecting it to real data, real users, and real business workflows. So why is this role exploding? After 2022, ChatGTP changed everything. Users start expecting AI in every app, and companies began racing to add AI feature as fast as possible. Before this, AI meant hiring researchers and spending months training models that might not even work. Now, with foundation models, it's possible to build AI features in a matter of days. You just need to know how to use the tools. First, you need to work with AI APIs, Open AI on Azure. That means calling endpoints, handling rate limits, and managing usage costs. Next, you need prompt engineering knowing how to structure inputs to get consistent, useful outputs. Then there is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, which lets you connect AI to company data so answers are accurate and personalized. You also need to understand embeddings and vector databases, tools that allow AI to search for meaning, not just keywords. On the implementation side, frameworks like LangChain, Semantic Kernel, or Azure AI Studio. LangChain helps you with prompts, tools, and memory into custom AI workflows. Semantic Kernels let you integrate AI with your existing business logic and plugins. And Azure AI Studio gives you a visual, code-optional interface to build test and deploy AI apps at scale. But here's the catch. All of this still needs to run somewhere. And that somewhere is a cloud. Every AI product needs infrastructure, compute, storage, networking, security. So if you don't understand the cloud, your AI project won't scale, won't perform well, and could cost a fortune. And here's something most people don't realize. AI might feel new and powerful, but it's already running into real-world risks and limitations. And when it breaks in production, it's often cloud engineers who step in to fix it. According to Gartner, by 2028, 25% of production errors will be caused by AI, not just by the model, but by bad instructions, poor oversight, or bad architecture. That's why real engineers are still critical. When AI fails in production, it's human experts who step in to fix it. Another important reality is that not every business can afford to invest millions into building custom AI from scratch. Instead, they will rely on AI service providers offering ready-made models tailored for specific business types. And as a cloud engineer, you'll be the one to make it work. Because cloud and AI aren't separate, they're deeply connected. So if you're trying to decide between AI engineering and cloud engineering, I would recommend starting with cloud because every company needs cloud whether they use AI or not. 
Master Azure Cloud Engineering, then add AI on top. That combination is what powers the future. I hope this video gave you the clarity you needed to choose the right path to truly future-proof your tech career. If this helped you, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of the strategies I share to help you grow faster, smarter, and with more confidence in tech. You can check the link in the description to grab my free Cloud Career Playbook. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep building, and I will see you in the next one.